glass, clay, wood, fiber, metal. Human hands transform humble materials into works of function and beauty, creating objects that hold the memory of who we are as people. How are the traditions of craft kept vital by today's finest artists? And how has the legacy of craft been reimagined as a modern art form? I want a chair to be very beautiful. I want a chair that is good to the eye, and I want a chair, above all, that is comfortable. A chair should invite you to sit. It has to give you good back support. I've had people say that my furniture is art, that it's sculpture, it's this and that, but I really don't care what they call it, as long as I'm happy with what it is. I like to work in wood. It's a very sensuous material. I love the color of the different kinds of woods that we use. When you're working, there's a communion between the object maker and the material that he or she is working with. It transcends into something much greater when you make something and someone likes it, enjoys it and all, you're paid tenfold. Yeah, that's going to be all right. There it is. I'm getting too old for this. I guess I should go and lie down once in a while, but I don't. <laughs> I love what I do. When I'm 90 and I can still work. <laughs> I think we're the only animal that seems to need to ornament ourselves. We seem to need to put things on us, and some of us need to make things that uh, get put on us. This field has been a design laboratory in the middle of a very busy city. These plants will be in a tiara that I'm creating. By drawing this leaf, I'm getting an understanding of the forms, the connections of the leaf to the stem is always a surprise to me. By looking closely at nature, I have the best teacher possible. Here I don't live by the Grand Canyon, I have to find my beauty where I live. So that's when I started to look at the weeds across the way from the studio. So much of my work is the balance of man and nature. How much we rely upon the plants around us. I think that making things with your hands, it's a human core instinct, a really important part of us. And I think if we pay attention to the tactile power used in craft, we will come to realize those are probably the best and the purest values to have. After 
the plantation system was over. My ancestors kept this tradition with them. They never allowed the tradition to die because they wanted the future generation to have these baskets as evidence of where they came from and that our history should never be repeated. So from mother to daughter to granddaughter, it was passed down. And my mother taught me how to make them. Her mother taught her. My children, I've taught them as well. Put some sweet grass in. Now you remember to open the roll up there. Oh, you're doing very good. Thank you. You're welcome. Weaving is almost like penmanship, almost like a handwriting. And I've seen the similarities, my mother's work, my work, my grandmother's work, and my great-grandmother's work. There. And that's kind of neat. It's little things like that that still encourages me to carry on the tradition. I would like to someday, if I have my own children, to pass this down. I think it's important because if I don't do it, then I I'd feel probably like I'm almost like breaking the tradition or something, or something like that. So I think that's important. Yeah. I have a commitment to carry on this tradition. It's tough work, but I have a real strong feeling about doing this. appreciated going to shows. It was always so much fun to get away from the quiet, meditative studio space. Hi. Just the stimulation of seeing other people's work evolve and grow. There's a great support between the artists. So you have to come by our booth in a little bit. When you're, when you're not so busy, it looks I liken it to a tribe, a nomadic tribe. We come here, we join together, we have a collection of objects and a collection of people, we have a neighborhood, and then it's over. We disband and we go back to our own environments. We're making items that no one needs except for aesthetic reasons. They're buying our objects because someone thought it up. It's their design and it comes from the hand. There's that inner drive to speak through your work. And I think no matter what, you try to figure out a way to do that because that really is that voice and your connection to others. We have a need to be connected to communities. Having pieces of artwork or pieces of craft reminds us of who we are. Making and experiencing beauty between our, each other is really a basic human need. I think it's essential to have a way to express yourself, and it doesn't have to be something saleable. It can just be something that comes from your own hands and your own heart. 